Hello everyone, and welcome back to Atari Vault. We're going to be playing Brain Games today. Um, touch me, count me, picture me, find me, add me, play me. Are we going to play all those? Maybe, possibly. Um, they could be equally awful. It's hard to tell. Um, I, the only reason why I say that is because I remember playing this game back in the day, and I don't remember if this is a, I don't know if this is a false memory, just based off of, I don't know, a bad dream I had, but I kind of remember this cover, and I remember hating it. Um, I could be wrong though. Let's look at the manual as we want to do and Then we actually might get some degree of instruction. So maybe we I didn't play this game because I Do remember this um, this controller though. This is a number pad basically, but it's not the number pad you have on your keyboard It's upside down. It's actually more like a telephone pad um, And you can tell that by the fact that when we look over here the keyboard controller, the numbers are flipped. So one, two, three is up where 789 should be. And the pound and star, I'm not even sure how that would work. So we're gonna have to look into the controllers. So, okay. Picture me is basically memory. Um, yeah, while the computer makes a distracting noise, try to memorize the order of the objects from top to bottom. Then the computer scrambles the order, moves them to the left-hand column, gives you 20 seconds to put them back in their original order. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Touch me is sequence tones, and then you play the sequence back. Um, yeah, and so you do that with a number pad because each one of the numbers makes a significant sound. And I believe it tells you the numbers, depending on what mode you're in. It tells you what numbers they are. Um, but it'll also make, I think, a distracting sound while it's doing that, or am I crazy? Um, sequence of tones, you must match, starting with one tone, adding a new tone to the sequence each time you enter correctly. As the computer is playing the sequence, the word wait will appear. When the computer says go, it's your turn to match the tone sequence. Yeah, it's, I kind of remember that. So count me. It's like touch me. Computer will play a sequence of digits to be matched in order. Computer has a new digit to the sequence when you correctly follow the sequence. When the computer shows you the sequence in the, bottom, in the box at the center of the screen, the word wait will appear. Okay, then wait, then go. All right. I mean, seems weird, but all right. And of course, there are difficulty switches for each of these. So picture me is a series of images, which I don't even know <laughs> what would we call those. Okay. Okay, and then find me. Gener Peter Jenner said four objects on the screen, all except one are identical. Your score is based on the time taken to find the one dissimilar object. Okay. And again, keyboard controller. And then add me. We've already done basic math in this series, so that's basically what this is. Uh, we have just more digits, which means I'm going to be slow. And this is actually timed, I believe. Um, yeah, okay. 15 and 17 give you 20 seconds to find the sum of the digits. Game 16 and 18 give you five seconds to find some of the dividends. Five seconds would be really hard with some of these. And then play me is it just has it just your keyboard controls are become musical instruments. Sure. Why not? So yeah, it was supposed to be one it was supposed to be two player, and so you'd have two controllers. You could do various things. So you can have a play me songbook. So this works great in physical form. Doesn't even have the songbook like right in front of you while you're entering it in, but no. So I think we're not gonna do play me because I mean, we can mess around with it, but I'm not gonna memorize the sequence here. What I look like, memory person? I don't even know a person with a good memory. Elephant, I guess, would be the next logical thing there. Okay, let's go in here. Okay, so we can do game select for this. Uh, what are we going to do? Nine buttons, six buttons. Okay, so that's a lot of... Okay, and then there's count me. There's picture me. Find me. I thought find me... No, find me was the... Right, the cards. Okay. Add me. Interesting how many of these interfaces look the same. Play me. And then back to touch me. It's interesting. So play me is only one mode. 
and we also can't press the enter key too much. I am playing with the keyboard and mouse for this because it's the number pad. <laughs> the typical controller is not going to work in this instance. So if I do this, I'm just doing this because I'm silly. Difficulty mode not used for this game. That totally makes sense. So we do this. Okay, that's play me. Basically, it just gives you a way to make MIDI sounds. Um, all right, well, I'm glad they didn't make that a game just by itself. Granted, that was used to good effect with, um, shoot, it was some Nintendo game. I don't remember the name of it. The name has totally gone off to my head. Someone respond in the comments. Help me out here. <laughs> there was a Nintendo game where all you did was set up musical instruments. It was like Mario something or other. Of course Mario was in it. He's always in all the basic Nintendo games. Okay, anyway. Let's do game select. One player touched me. I've totally forgotten the rules already, but let's go for it. Um, okay. Nope, that was wrong. Okay, so that was four. So four, seven. No, four, one, huh? Hold on, that didn't work. Yep, four, one. So I'm actually reversed here. That's totally going to throw me off. I'm just saying. No, it's two, not, yeah. No? How is it not the middle one? Hold up. I'm really confused. Oh, 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 because oh, it was two. It was totally two. Okay, let's try that again. Just got to match it. No. Oh, not the middle ones. One. That's a one right there. That's a one, four. One, four, one. So throwing me off. One four one five. Yep. Four one five five. One four one five five. One four one five five two. One four one one. Nope, 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 nope. nope. I hit one too many times. One four one five five two. One four one five five two. Four. No one. <laughs> the number pad being reversed throws me the fuck off. That worked. Okay. One four one five five two one. Three? No, that's six. Shit, I've already forgotten it. It worked. It worked. One, four, one, five, five, two, one, six, two. I've already forgotten it. <laughs> Hold on. Got it. Pulled it from my brain here. That worked. One, four, one, one, no, five, five, two, one, six, two, six, okay. One, one, no, shit. I'm lost. I'm totally lost. Now, Grant, if we screw up, we have like 10 tries because we made it this far. Nope, that didn't work. So, one, four, one, five, five, 
two, four, six, two, six, one. Nope, messed up. Oh, okay, we don't get 10 tries. We're just at the 10th level. All right, that was weird. Okay, um, let's do game select and get out of touch me. I don't even know how. I guess two players just compete against each other and see how far you can get. Okay, let's do count me. Um, yeah, the number pad being upside down is totally going to mess me up. I'm actually a little tempted to turn my keyboard upside down. Do you think that would work? It would make it on my left hand, which would be really weird. But that would probably be better than having it on my right hand, because my right hand has muscle memory for the current setup of the numpad. All right, I'm going to try it. <laughs> I'm going to turn my keyboard upside down here. Hopefully I don't hit the key to stop the recording, because that would be hilarious. Um, the trouble is, how do I, how do I navigate? Um, I could use the mouse. That's right. The mouse is four. Okay. Let's do the mouse, which worked. Okay, so one, which I believe is actually one. Yes. So one, two. So far, so good. One, two, one. One, two, one, three. How is this different from the other game? I guess you see the numbers. One, two, one, three, one. One, two, one, three, one, three. No, oh, damn it. Oh, one, two, one, three, one, three. There you go. One, two, one, three, one, three, two. Okay. So one, two, three, one, three, three, two, six. Okay, so I'm just hoping to get to ten here. Six twice. Here we go. This is where we usually mess up. Six six four. I'm not saying any of the numbers, just to hope that I can get it. Two, okay. No, oh, no, I jumped. Should end six six four then two. Yep. I totally forgot in the beginning of the sequence. Because I wasn't looking at the screen. Because I'm a moron. Because I was trying to remember the last numbers in sequence. Does that work? Does that work, work for us? Holy shit, it worked. <laughs> okay. One, three, then it was two, right? Nope, 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 nope. We need to go back to one. Yeah, three, then one, then three, Ben. Yeah. Okay. And you back up to three. So one, two, one, three, one, three, two, six, six, four, two, three. Yes. Okay. I think that might have actually pushed my mental capacity to the limit. I'd be really surprised if I can get this next one. It's possible. That's the one. Okay, so one, two, one, three, one, three, two, six, six, four, two, three, two. No! I don't want him to tell me what it was. Okay. You know what? I'm good with that. I'm fine. We made it higher than ten. 
And Tenzo made it on the last one. I think actually turning the keyboard upside down really helped. Um, it's weird. And I'm moving. I'm trying to move with the arrow keys, and that's totally not going to work. Use the mouse. Do the game select. There we go. So, yeah, and Rock and Do count me because that's just crazy. We're not doing nine buttons because I'm not insane, okay? It's not going to happen. Let's do picture me. Now, the trouble is, let's look at the controls here. Can I look at the controls here, though? Oh, power. I need to do power to do it. Okay, main menu, because I want to look at the controls. Because this is actually going to use all the keys. I'm really curious what they used as the keys. So, one, two, three are actually number one, two, three. But what I'm curious about... Okay, so asterisk is asterisk. Pound is plus. Because that's not confusing. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's good to know that. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have stumbled a lot there. Pound is plus. I guess... Well, you add another line, and then plus does become a pound, right? As opposed to the diagonal, which you need to add three more lines to. So, okay. I can kind of maybe see that. All right. Let's go in here. And go ahead and do this. Okay. Let's go. I forget what the rules are here. Zero X line, another X. Okay. Um, so isn't it? Do we move over to this side? I'm confused. Um, hold up. Is that correct? I don't know if that's the correct sound or not. Yes. I, 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 what? <laughs> I'm guessing it wasn't correct because they gave me the, another, the same sequence over again. I think that's wrong. Maybe, I don't know. So we have square, time, time, time. Um, in that order? Pretty much. I don't, I don't understand. Okay, so sign, square sign, time, other one. So sine, which would be that one, square sine, which is that one, time, and then the other one. Really only have to memorize three in order, right? Okay, so left, x, right, sine, okay. So left, x, right, sine. It doesn't give me a consistent yes, no, okay, so I must have fucked it up, right? I must have. I just messed it up and and it just gave up on me and said, okay, you know what? Screw you. Well, screw you too, game. Screw you too. Um, game select does not give me an option here. That was weird. Okay, let's do find me. What the hell, right? This is the find the weird one. Well, that's obvious, isn't it? It's that one. Um, okay, you know what? I might have the controls wrong. Do I have the controls wrong here? This is it like one, two, three, four, and it's supposed to be two? No. I mean, I don't know what. <laughs> I mean, I know it's the last one. That's that's easy. I mean, I guess as long as you hit the last one, the okay, this one's harder. Okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. It's that one. As long as they don't run out of time, I'm what. Why did it stop? <laughs> I don't get why it stopped. Did my score go up? Is did what? Huh? Let, let's try that again. Because I, I want to know what happened here. So zero. Zero is my score now. Okay. The one that's wrong is the middle one, right? So we want to hit five. Because, you know, two, five, eight, so on and so forth. So, like, two would be here up top because that was a... I think we're getting a score depending on how fast we are. So it keeps showing us another number. Um, oh, 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 there it is, there it is. It showed us three there, but three's not the correct number. It's the second one down, I know that, but... I think it just stops after like five iterations there, and then that's just done. You know what, game? You beat me, okay? You turn my, up, my keyboard upside down... And my OCD is going crazy, going, 
my keyboard's upside down and I can't I can't I can't concentrate it's not working for me there's still one more game right there's the addition game unless I'm totally yeah here we go add me okay 20 second timer yes that's what we're gonna do because I'm not crazy well I'm a little crazy but that that's beside the point um yeah game reset here we go so 9 12 and then 18 there you go um, 9, 14, 15. Doing this with an upside down numpad. Not easy. Just saying. Um, 11, 17, 20. Was that wrong? Is that a beep? I don't know. 7, 6 is 13. Plus 4 is 17. Plus 7 is um, 24. See, that's a high beep, so I would guess yes. 88 is 16 plus 7. We'll add another 6 and 24. Then plus 1 is 5. Then 30. Um, excuse me? No. It's not 29. It's not 31. What the hell is it? Did I do that wrong? 16? I did do that wrong. 28. 28. And then it just stops you. Which is funny because 28 was my score. I'm doing that again because I feel embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 4 and 7, that's 11, plus 5, 16, 17. 6 and 4 is 10, plus 7 is 17, plus 6, so add 3, you get to 20, add another 3, you get to 23. 5 and 1 is 6, plus 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. 3 plus 5, 8, plus 2, 10. 13. 3, 7, plus 8 is 15. Okay, so apparently it just ends at a certain number. It's not going to give you congratulations or anything like that. It just ends. But the high-pitched tone, or any kind of tone, is how you know it's done. All right, I'm, I'm done with this game. I'm going to flip my keyboard back over keyboard you can go back to your normal resting position thank you all right why did i hit this game when i was younger because i hate educational games and this game does not even pretend to dress it up and try to be fun i mean maybe possibly if you consider um the play me right the play me could be fun i mean if you know what you're doing And with that annoying sound, which is going to become my new theme song, I am sure, I'm going to go ahead and leave this game forever. Yes, main menu, please. All right, thank you guys for watching. That was Brain Games in the Atari Vault. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.